Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna jump in and take a look at part two of the Rest in Peace Cemetery repurpose. And uh, today I've got a lot of the engraving done. I'm gonna kind of show you how I did that, cut the stairs, got all that stuff done, show you a little bit about all of that, and then kind of take you through of what's coming next. And then we're gonna start laying a lot of that stonework, a lot of that, uh, um, cobblestone throughout the pathways. And then at that point, I think we're ready to start gluing things together and start to um, really paint it all black. And at that point, it should go a little bit quicker, but uh, let's jump off the tripod real quick and take a look at where we're at so far. Okay, so as you can see, the carving is uh, coming along quite nice. I've got the uh, the side is done over here. We've got, uh, it goes around to the front. The sidewalk is, is cut, it's not textured. We still have to do that. We've got the, uh, the uh, angel sitting on a little pedestal in the front. Nothing is glued down, but I simply traced around this and then cut it out on a very low setting with a proxon and uh, it fits right in there. The stairs are, there, and I'll explain how I did that. Uh, again, nothing is glued down at this point. We're gonna do some of that. And then the, uh, the stonework comes all the way around and onto the other side. As we come up to the top, uh, I cut these the same method as I did the trick-or-treat lane houses. This is basically the sharp X-Acto knife. It just kind of traced out where a stair should be uh, and then carved it out with the X-Acto knife. Very simple, very straightforward. The X-Acto knife needs to be sharp. The sharper the knife, the better of cut you're going to get. And so those are all done, and that'll look a lot better when it's, when it's painted. And so, uh, so there's that. And then you can see sort of the, I showed you a little bit yesterday of the line, or uh, during the last video, I, I should say, uh, the tracing of the lines. And so the lines are where the cobblestones are going to be. And I'm just kind of walking down through here for just a minute. So this is some of the stuff that I've got. I got another package that came in from Evan Designs. We're gonna be using this glue uh, to lay these cobblestones. And so essentially I took uh, the Proxon and I cut real thin foam, as you can see here. It's, uh, it's pretty thin, uh, and it's textured already. And the way that I did that is I took a lot of the cuttings uh, and put them inside of a can with some rocks and a lid and just kind of shook them vigorously for, I don't know, three or four minutes and then open them up and looked at them. And this is the, the texture that is already on them. I may texture them again with a royal, the, uh, the rolled up foil ball once we get them in place. But for now, I think they look pretty good. And some of them are, are different sizes. I just kind of went through with, with a proxon at different angles and, and you know stacked them up three and four thick. But each, each one was this thick. Uh, so I cut it pretty thin and then big long strips of uh, this type of material this thick and then just went through back and forth through the proxon wire and and made little cuts like this to get what you see in front of you so it's a lot of them I, i'm i'm thinking it's probably enough i don't know i guess we will see when we start laying them i, I may be way too much it may not be enough but that's going to take place here momentarily and then as we come back over here uh, what we're going to do next is I'm going to put everything back on the tripod. We're going to move this. I just wanted to show you the pieces that are, are there. The he's going to come off, and this is going to go away. This will be painted separately. Uh, these are going to be glued together. I need to put you on a tripod to do that. And then here's how I cut these out. So this is very. This is the way I'm doing stairs now because I think it looks a lot cleaner and a lot neater. Now, you can certainly take your hot wire foam tool with the the uh, handheld routing tool, the the one that you can bend the wire into any shape you want, and you can cut stairs like that. I've done that plenty of times and it works just fine. You gotta be a little careful with it, but if you're working on a spooky village, especially old stairs leading up into a, a mountain or down a 
you know, big hill or something like that. It actually looks pretty good for them to be uneven and jagged and things like that. So that works perfect. I will continue to do that. But for stairs that you want to look really, really good, I, I did this one. I'm just gonna move these sidewalk pieces because we're not gonna need them right now. So for the, the side or the, uh, the stairs, I took the handheld sculpting tool, the really thin, really taut wire. Uh, I had traced this out. You saw that a little bit earlier in the previous video. And then I just extended the lines down after I'd already done the brickwork for the most part. Uh, and I took the tool and just essentially came straight in, straight over, and straight out. And it pulled a block, just like this, out. I took this block, which really kind of sat just like this. It's what it sort of looked like from the front. Uh, and I took it to the Proxon and I cut it in, in uh, very even sections. And then I would take a little bit of the front of the second stair off and a little bit of the third stair. So then when they sit in there, they and they'll be hot glued to the back and to each other, they sit just like that, uh, or they will when they're hot glued in there. And that, to me, looks pretty good for stairs. I only engraved the bottom half of these because the top half is gonna be covered with some of the uh, cobblestone that you saw. So it's gonna be brickwork with cobblestone on top of it. Brickwork uh, with cobblestone on top of it. And then this one is, I think, upside down. But you sort of get the it is not sort of upside down. It is upside down. Uh, and you see, so you kind of get the picture of the brickwork and the cobblestone, the brickwork and the cobblestone. So that's, that's how the stairs are looking. I think they look pretty good. And then they'll come up into the cobblestone here and then the cobblestone going out that way. So let's do the stairs first. Let's start gluing that together and then we'll start laying the cobblestone. That'll be our next step. Okay, while my glue gun is uh, heating up on a low setting, I wanna show you this again. This is the, the um, engraving tool. This is for woodwork. I've put this tip in. It comes with various different tips. And this is what I used to go through and carve the, uh, all the lines in all the uh, facade so far to include the sidewalk and the stuff in the back. So. You've seen me use this before. This is a really good engraving tool. I like it better than the Hot Wire Foam Factory tool for just simply engraving. Now, when it comes to cutting holes and doing things like that, the Hot Wire Foam, to, uh, Hot Wire Foam Factory tools work amazingly well, and I'll continue to use that, those tools for, for things like that. But this is just more comfortable. Uh, I like the fact that you can also control the heat. And so uh, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, decent. Again, you can pick these up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They're like 25 to 30 bucks on, uh, in the stores. If you have coupons, obviously you can use those. Okay, so I don't know if you saw the light turn to green here. So we're gonna start gluing. And the way that I'm gonna do this first is I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the back of this, just like so. So far, I'm pretty impressed with these, uh, with the glue gun. It is not bad. And we're just gonna kind of bring that in and set it right back like that. Okay, so that's step number one. I'm gonna make sure we're not gluing that down to our mat. So we're not, so that's pretty good. Okay, the second piece, we're gonna put a little glue down here just to Kind of hold it into the corners. Okay, and then this piece, we're going to put some glue on the back, put some glue on the bottom, about like that. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Okay, I'll let that sit up for a second. Okay, and then the third piece, 
I'm gonna do the same thing, a little more glue back in here. A little glue on the bottom of this. A little glue on the back of this. We're gonna set that right in there, like so. Okay, so I've got our cobblestones out. I've picked, I want these to be pretty uh, straight and I don't want them hanging over the edge a whole lot. So I've, I've picked three uh, piece out that are gonna sit on these stairs. I'm gonna use a hot glue on these first ones, just a drop. And uh, we'll put those on using that method. We'll use the white glue, PVA glue everywhere else, but just a touch. Okay, so you can kind of see how that looks, and that will be our first set of cobblestones going up into the little walkway. And so that'll look really good once it's once it's painted as well. So let's reposition the camera and get everything ready, and we'll start up here. Okay, we've got uh, several brushes to choose from. I'm just going to use a, a older paintbrush to get some of this on. We really want to try to stay in the lines, especially here. I didn't really explain the distance between here and here. You can see the line. It's an inch and a half between the edge of the platform and this, and that is to allow the fence to sit uh, level, not have any cobblestones or grass out here. This will all be painted uh, sort of a gray to match the brick back into black. So it'll be uh, sort of one in, this, in the same. There'll be no grass in this area all the way around the entire display. You can see the inch and a half line going all the way around. So that's what that's for. So essentially we're gonna start by pouring a little bit of glue out
Okay, so the texture or the uh, cobblestone is all on there. I mean, there's a lot of glue. I'm a little worried about that, but it should dry clear. I may try to brush some of that down a little bit, probably will. The thing is, they until it starts to set, uh, they, they move around a little bit. So, but that's what it's starting to look like. Here's what I've got left. So you saw out of that whole big bucket or that whole big thing. I mean, there's not many left. So I think, uh, I think I did pretty good there in terms of determining what I needed. But that's how it's looking. Uh, this side here was done first. You can see it's starting to dry a little bit better. Um, but I think it'll look good. We've got to let this dry for sure. So this is going to sit for a day or two and completely cure before I try to put any kind of paint on it. Okay, well, there you have it. Hopefully that um, makes sense on how we're putting the individual cobblestones down. I think once it's dry and hopefully it, and I took a paper plate, I think you saw in some of the video there, I took a paper plate and kind of smashed down on it to try to make sure that was all settled in. There's still a lot of glue, which again, concerns me a little bit. I'm gonna try to get some of that up. But all in all, I think it, once it dries, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be okay. The next step after it dries is if we're going to put any more texture on it, that's the time to put texture on it. Then we'll do the spray painting and go from there. So once this is spray painted black, then uh, we'll be ready to detail and paint. You'll see that in the upcoming tutorial. So that is what's coming next. The next time you see it, hopefully it will be painted completely black uh, and ready for some painting to occur. Uh, once that's done, then we're ready to start gluing parts and pieces together. And uh, at some point, I've still got to build the fence, still got to get the, the texture on everything else. So there's still a lot to do on this one, uh, but it's moving along pretty good. So, hey, like always, if you've liked this video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. The channel continues to grow, and it's thanks to you that are uh, subscribing that helps it to do that. Uh, so until we talk again, take care of yourselves, and we'll talk again real soon.